So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get this chopped up vocal effect. So you've probably heard that effect in one song or another on the radio recently. So I'm going to show you how you can make it in Ableton. And I'm also going to give you some free vocal samples so that you can try this stuff out. That's all coming up. How's it going guys? It's John Holt here with The Audio Journey, helping make music production accessible to all. And here on this channel, what I do is a variety of music production tutorials focused towards beginners and beyond. So if that's something that you might be interested in, then definitely consider subscribing. So let's not waste any time, let's jump straight into Ableton and show you how you can get that chopped up vocal effect really nice and quickly. I'll point out as well that the sampler that we're using in this tutorial, which is simpler, is available in every version of Ableton from light all the way up to sweet. So you'll always be able to work along with this tutorial. So the first thing that we're gonna do is come up to instruments and grab a simpler and drag that on to some space in your Ableton session. And we've got a new simpler track. So down here we can see the empty simpler module. Um, and we see the text here that says drop sample here. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Um, the sample pack that I've downloaded is down in the description below, which you can download for free from Sample Magic. Um, I'm going to be using the following vocal sample in this demonstration. I'll show you ecstasy. I'll show you ecstasy. Cool, so that's the vocal that I'm going to be making some little chops of. All I'm going to do is drag that vocal sample where it says drop sample here, and now we've got it in here. Then you want to come down to the slice mode. Now you see these orange lines have popped up. Now what these represent is a MIDI note that you can play just like this. Now the way that I'm triggering these notes is by playing a MIDI note, which I'm doing on my computer keyboard. Um, you can do from a MIDI keyboard, from a launch pad, anything like that that allows you to play MIDI notes. Then you can make a MIDI pattern out of these little vocal chops to use in your song. So here we are guys, in true Blue Peter style, here is one that I made earlier. Um, let's just have a look at the MIDI notes for that and have a listen through to it. We'll stop the rest of the track. Um, let's just have a listen to that vocal chop. That's it with no reverb or delay. And let's have a listen to how that sounds in the track. So there you go guys, I hope you found that useful and if you did, then please do hit the like button, it really does mean a lot to me. I... Is that the right way? <laughs> so there we go guys, I hope you found that useful and if you've got any questions about that tutorial, drop them down in the comments below and I will get back to you. And if it was useful, then please do hit the like button, it really does mean a lot to me. I've been John Holt with The Audio Journey and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.